Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. I do appreciate all of the support. We are going to hop right into the download. This was a particularly touchy download for me because I can relate, but I'm picking up on somebody who is, who's very upset they know that their human rights have been violated based off of lies. And they know that the powers that be, the justice system is aware that they were lied on, but this person's human rights were violated prior to the truth being realized about them. Okay, this person feels like they were a victim of sexual assault because of the human rights violations in their home. This person was being unknowingly surveillance, as in they didn't know that they, they were being monitored and surveillance and that there were hidden cameras in their home. And this person's privacy has been violated. This person's personal business has been violated. This person is naked on camera for multiple people to have seen. This person feels like they've been sexually assaulted and that is a form of sexual, sexual assault, okay? And they are upset because the so-called justice system played a part in this human rights violation. But once they learned that, that they were lied to, that their reasons for monitoring this person and violating their rights was false, they should make it right. But they haven't made it right for this person because the people who lied on this person are still out here running free, doing what they think, doing what they want to do. And this person's rights have been violated. They feel assaulted. They feel violated and no one is doing anything to defend them knowing that what was done against them was based on lies, okay? So we are gonna see what the Holy Spirit wants to know about it because this person is very upset. And you know, in all honesty, I'm not pleased either because I know it's been proven that motherfuckers was lying on me, yet what has been done to those motherfuckers? Nothing that I can see. And sometimes people's karma, people's punishment, their judgment isn't always on display for us to see. And you have to just trust that God is handling it. But when you know on the physical realm for a fact that there are people in the justice system who know that you were not doing what people said you were doing and they still being able to be out here and do what the fuck they want to do when your life was violated, combed through scrutinized, ostracized, put on display for others to view, that's not right. That ain't right, okay? Cut the deck on the Knight of Pentacles because a lot of people were watching this woman violating her human rights, watching her naked, watching her in the tub, watching her on the toilet, you know, all this kind of shit, watching her sleep. You know, these, 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 that's not right. Especially the parts where she is undressed or naked or handling her personal care business. You know, that is sexual assault. So what, what you want us to know about the Holy Spirit? Cause it's not right. It's not right that people can sit up and lie and do things to cause all kind of hell in your life. And then they get to walk around free and unencumbered. Even after people know they ass was lying, Holy Spirit. So what, what's going to be done about this? What, what do you want us to know about this, Holy Spirit? Because this, this was a touchy one for me, but I'm going to do it anyway, Holy Spirit. What would you like for us to know from you to me at this time? Because it ain't right. It's not right. It's not right when motherfuckers like this can sit up and lie on your name and spread all kind of falsehoods about you because they mad for whatever reason. And people follow up to what this motherfucker say and severely violate you like this same person has already severely violated you.
Okay, that's why you don't fuck with them. But it's the King of Cups who started all this shit. His ass is in reverse because of his hatred for this divine feminine. When he at one point was in love with this divine feminine. I feel like low-key this motherfucker still is in love with this divine feminine. But his anger, his emotions are completely misguided about this woman. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. It does not warrant what he did to her. It don't warrant, warrant it. This could have even been her twin flame. And look what came out here. Five of swords. His anger, his jealousy, his envy of her, despite his love for her, fueled this man to lie on her. The five of swords is a liar. Someone who will tell lies, who'll do anything to win at all costs. This man went above and beyond to try to destroy this woman, to try to cause hardships for this queen of cups here. Someone that he was supposed to be in the sun with. Okay, he chose to try to destroy this woman and her life. Five of Swords talks about assault, abuse, rape, lies, deceit, all kinds of treachery people participate in in an attempt to take somebody out of the game. And this is what was done against this Queen of Cups. Okay, somebody who is love and light, who again, None of what happened to this Queen of Cups was warranted. I don't give a fuck what this King of Cups in reverse said. You know, he told some big, huge lies to get people to antagonize this woman. Okay? But the level of antagonization, you know, it was taken entirely too far with this strength card. They went entirely too hard against this divine feminine. Because that's what they saw. Even in them trying to find a loophole, find a way that they could trip her up somehow while they were surveillancing her and monitoring her, that's all they fucking saw was a nine of pentacles. Okay? Somebody who is upright, doing what they're supposed to do, handling their business, ain't bothering nobody. Some of these people even feel guilty about this assault in violation of this woman's human rights because three of swords because they know she did not deserve this you know it's crazy to me it's crazy to me how people can know how people can know what people have done to you and they get to walk around free and nothing happens to them and people know how they have assaulted you and violated you. And they still get to walk around here free. This is why I said I didn't know if I could do this reading. This had really triggered me. It's not right. It's not right. And they know people lied on you. They know that they have violated you, assaulted you. You know when what this is when is justice gonna be served? You know what I'm saying? Cause this ain't right. This is not right. The Holy Spirit, I pray right now for those people who have been victims. Who have been victimized. Whose human rights have been violated. Who have been assaulted off of lies. In the jealousy and envy of others, Holy Spirit, I just ask that you continue to give those people strength to keep going, to keep doing what it is that you would have them to do, Holy Spirit. And I do pray that justice is served for these, these souls who are hurt by these actions that have been taken against them and nobody stands up for them. But we know, God, that you stand up for us 
at the end of the day, and this is all divine timing, that this is going the, the way you want it to go because you have a bigger purpose and plan, Holy Spirit. So I just ask for strength for these people who have experienced this, for myself, Holy Spirit, that we are able to see the purpose and the plan in all of this. In your name I pray, amen. That we are able to leave it behind. Move on from it to something more positive and purposeful in our lives. That this is just a part of our journey. And you will show us why this was allowed to even happen in due time. That's my prayer. You know, you just really have to like try to center yourself with shit like this because it's not right. So what, what's going to be the outcome? What else do we need to know about this Holy Spirit? Because this Queen of Cups is about, Nine of Pentacles is about where I'm at, Holy Spirit. Ace of Wands. God is going to set things right in your life. He is going to provide you with a new start, new opportunities. Something good is going to come out of the pain that you have experienced, of this violation that you have been subjected to. Something good is going to come out of this. Okay? I can't tell you what. But I do feel like there are people who know that this was wrong, what happened to you. And maybe they're going to take some steps to ensure that it doesn't happen to other people in the future. Maybe your, your situation is a catalyst to stop these types of human rights violations in the future. Because these people went all out to try to hurt this woman, to try to cause her challenges. And it's sad. It's truly sad. What's going to be the outcome for this King of Cups in reverse, though, who lied? Holy Spirit. Who lied on his twin flame, look like the magician. Ain't no telling what else this King of Cups in reverse has done. Clarify, Holy Spirit, we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. I, I don't want to believe that this King of Cups in reverse feel like he can come in with some slick ass words and some slick ass actions and make amends with his queen of cups. That's literally what I'm picking up after he didn't did all of this shit against her. He, he, he's gonna try to come in and manipulate her and get back with her. But this queen of cups knows that this king of cups in reverse has something to do with this assault, this violation of her life clarify she knows he he temperance this woman has received insight when she was suffering and going through everything she went through she received insight intel on who was trying to moderate her life in this way i feel like something divine occurred to intervene in what was happening to her to stop this violation, this assault on her and her life. But in her suffering, in her facing this ongoing battle, battle against these energies, in her becoming a wounded warrior, she learned and came to know exactly who was behind what was happening to her who triggered it, and it was this ex-lover of hers, this King of Cups in reverse. She knows, and I feel like this woman has ended that karmic cycle in her life for good with this man because of what he did and this loss that he went so hard for her to take. 
But this woman, the star is falling right up under the sun. This woman has healed and regenerated herself from this these assaults, this violation. I don't care what nobody say. It is sexual assault when you are unknowingly viewing a woman care for her body. Okay? I don't give a fuck. You, you are fucking perverted peeping Tom, face, head, ass. That is a form of sexual assault. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. For various men who could probably at any point take this video of you naked, washing your behind, washing your ass, washing your cootie cat, whatever you want to say, whatever you wash, whatever this woman was doing in this shower, in this tub, I'm picking up. This woman feels like she is on display, has been on display, and she has for multiple people to watch her, to drool over her, for they dick to get hard to her. These are men. I'm telling you, this is unacceptable. Unfucking acceptable. And it ain't no way this King of Cups in reverse ass is still fucking walking around here free after he didn't damn had this woman set up like this. Those, and then that's the other thing that this Queen of Cups is concerned about in me too. Who, where the fuck is these recordings at? Who got access to these tapes and videos and recordings of her naked and shit? It ain't no telling who done seen this woman. You know, somebody gonna have to pay. That, that's, that's where I'm at, Holy Spirit. That's where she at too. We see justices out here. But, you know, it's not right that this, this man is still walking around free, even thinking that he slick enough that he can come back in, y'all, to this Queen of Cups with some sort of slick love offer, knowing what he's done against her. How, how is that even possible that he even able to do that? It's because 1717, these motherfuckers didn't let this man get away with this shit. That's why, and that's not right. And I'm calling for justice. I'm calling for justice. I call for justice in that prayer. I'm calling for justice now. Because how the fuck upright people that's in the justice, they so-called upright, but y'all letting these motherfuckers get away with telling these lies and wasting all these resources to monitor motherfuckers who aren't even doing nothing wrong. Like, Y'all supposed to be handling them for playing in y'all face, but y'all, it's something ain't right, okay? You know, a motherfucker's talking about what they fight for, they causes and shit. When's somebody going to fight for people like these Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, these divine feminines whose privacy has been violated off of lies and jealousy and envy? When's somebody going to stand up for them? Because, damn it, this is wrong. 1818, it breaks my heart. I cannot think about how I was violated at times because I would be a fucking mess if I did let that shit get to me. Why should we even have to suffer and swallow that down and bury that trauma? That is not right. And something needs to be done. I'm telling you, because these women were in the privacy of their home. This She ain't the only one. I ain't the only one. It's a lot of us who went through this because people were lying on us about what we do. Nobody else don't go fuck with these people when they be out here scamming and lying and scheming and slutting online and doing every damn thing else. Ain't nobody fucking with them. But people wanted to come fuck with a lot of us who were doing this divine messaging that we were slated and put on this path to do by the most high God. A lot of us got violated. A lot of us were assaulted. What What's going to happen to motherfuckers who did that to us? And it's been proven that they were liars, that they were just trying to restrict us and violate us. What's going to happen to them? And I don't know if y'all could hear that. You might want to run it back 10 seconds and listen. But it was just a cat outside squealing and hollering.
That's how they tried to do this woman, and it's just unacceptable. Tried to, they ain't no tried to. They did violate this woman in her home. They did assault this woman in her home. And justice needs to be served here. I don't care. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I'm going to have to get up off this. Any, any final messages? Six of cups, seven of wands, the chariot. Because I'm telling you, this man finna try to come back into this woman's life after he done lied on her. Put her in a position to be scrutinized, ostracized, violated, assaulted. Her, I mean, this woman has been, her human rights have been stripped away from her. And now this motherfucker want to try to come back and reconnect with her. And that's why the universe is going to block that shit too. Because it just ain't no way. 2112, this man think. He can come in with a knight of wands and a knight of cups and have some sort of future with this same person, 2121, that he took this action against, that he had people coming at, that he had people attacking. And I'm telling you, it's somebody who know that this motherfucker was lying it's plenty of people, but that the the main person, the head honcho, they know that this man was doing something evil against this woman. So why haven't haven't hasn't this emperor stood up and defended this queen of cups, nine of pentacles here, Holy Spirit? Why? If he knows this chariot emperor energy, he knows that they violated this woman's human rights. He knows that. They they have come they have participated in some sort of sexual assault against her because I'm telling you this woman her body is out there her those videos of her naked and caring for herself intimately okay those videos have been compromised I'm telling you clarify Holy Spirit I'm picking up on it and she didn't picked up on it too. That's also why she's upset. Death. I'm telling you, people have, even if the surveillance has ended, somehow some of these people who had access to this footage of this Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, they have put that shit out there. Something has been compromised. And I'm telling you, this woman has been, her human rights, her rights as a woman, her legal rights, they have all been violated, wiped away. And what's being done about it? The death came out behind the devil because they tried to end things for this woman. But I, is it, clarify, Holy Spirit, is this emperor going to step up and end things for this king of cups in reverse? Because he knows this man lied on this woman, y'all. I'm telling you, it's breaking my heart. That I'm picking up on so many people who know that this man was lying. That all of these resources were wasted on this person who wasn't even doing anything. And nobody ain't saying, well, what what we going to do about him then? Since we was going to do all this shit about her, what are we going to do about him? Because we know this is who she is. Okay? This emperor knows that this queen of cups, nine of pentacles... Is just up as upright and exalted by the spiritual realm as he is in the physical realm. She coming out here as an empress now. This emperor know that this was wrong. What happened to this woman? Well, what is he going to do about it? What you going to do about it, sir? Because enough is enough. What She may be compensated. She may receive some form of compensation. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Because I'm telling you, her her body has been placed on the dark web. Somebody that had access to these surveillances of her, these videos of her, somebody has taken her and put her on the dark web. And I feel like this emperor and this high energy know it as well, that their 
their shit has been compromised. So it's just all kind of fucked up shit didn't happen against this woman. Who gonna make it right? I don't feel like no Ace of Pentacles is enough. Fuck that money. What about my disrespect? What about this disrespect that this King of Cups in reverse was allowed to do against me? What about that, Holy Spirit? What about that, Emperor Hierophant? What's going to be done about that? Because this ain't right here. Fuck that money. For real now. Hermit. What, what are we going to do to make sure that this type of shit don't happen again to nobody? What efforts are going to be put in place to ensure that if someone needs to be looked into that there won't be such a violation of their rights in order to do that, that more insight and guidance will be done on who making the report, who's trying to say that this person is ill and egregious. Maybe y'all need to check that motherfucker out first before y'all lose your mind and run behind a lie. Because that's exactly what was done here. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? This emperor may be trying to figure out how to take action, but I'm telling you, all they saw, that's why this also concerns me. Because I'm telling you, I was picking up on hard dicks, men drooling, jacking off, doing all kind of shit to this woman who's supposed to be somebody evil and was supposed to be doing all this fucked up shit in their home. These men just be watching this woman. Taking pictures of her naked and shit. Ace of Cups falling right up under the star. And that was the energy I was getting off the star card. I didn't want to show it. But these men have literally watched this woman. If you look at the traditional star card, it's almost like she naked and she about to get, get in the tub or get in the pond or whatever. That's literally what these men have been watching this woman do. And somebody do has taken some of that footage and they got it either in their own personal little porn collection or they didn't put this woman on the dark web. And this, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers know that shit too. These, these so-called upright people in the justice system, they know what didn't happen. Again, what are they going to do about it? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Because enough is enough. And I feel like some of these motherfuckers is still sneaking and watching this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, knowing the truth about this woman, knowing that this woman is, is maintaining an upright energy in her home because the Queen of Swords is falling right up under the four wands. These people, I feel some of these people have still been violating this woman's privacy, whether they, this was supposed to be over or not. Somebody is still sneaking and watching this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Empress energy here. Mm. Well, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. I feel like this Emperor may be trying to figure out what he needs to do to make this right, but he ain't moving quick enough for me. He not. I don't care. Because when he first realized that this King of Cups in reverse was on some old devil ass shit against this Queen of Cups, his ass should have got in gear then and shut this motherfucker down for telling lies to the justice system in order to get somebody in trouble. But that's a motherfucking crime. I don't give a damn. Y'all motherfucker take people to jail for unlawful use of the fucking telephone. You can take a motherfucker to jail for lying to the justice system to get somebody in trouble. That's perjury or some shit, ain't it? Damn it. Nah, because this don't even make no type of sense. But I digress. And if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.